Well, my involvement with Haiti started in 1988 as a grad student. I did part of my uh, PhD research in Haiti and uh, been back to Haiti many times since and uh, in the past five years for an NSF funded project where we're trying to measure and succeeded in measuring um, inner seismic deformation with, with GPS, pretty much the, uh, uh, the uh, speed at which uh, elastic strain build ups, uh, builds up on, on uh, tectonic faults in Haiti. Of course, right after the earthquake, I was, um, uh, I was deeply involved in, in, the, uh, in, a, in a rapid response where we tried to, from a scientific standpoint, try to measure the uh, ground deformation caused by the earthquake and try to relate that to uh, slip at depths on the fault. I've also been involved in uh, helping uh, the uh, Haitian government, uh, the UN, and other organizations in, in, in trying to better understand the science uh, uh, behind that earthquake and behind seismic uh, hazard in general in Haiti. This earthquake magnitude 7 killed uh, at least 200,000 people, 300,000 people. We will never know exactly the, the, uh, the number. Why was it so uh, massively destructive? Mostly because of vulnerability, mostly because the earthquake happened close enough to a very large population center with high density population and, and very unprepared in terms of the buildings, uh, in terms also of the reflexes, what should people do when the earthquake, uh, when an earthquake strike. So it's essentially a lack of preparedness that caused uh, the, uh, the, uh, the disaster that we've seen in, uh, in Haiti quality of buildings. I'm not a uh, structural engineer, but it doesn't take much uh, training in structural engineering to see uh, that a lot of the, uh, lot of the buildings, uh, individual houses, uh, were not built to uh, standards and certainly not strong enough to withstand the uh, level of shaking that was uh, uh, likely to happen at any time on that, on that fault zone. So that's, that's one thing. Uh, also, the other, another aspect is the fact that people didn't know what to do when the earthquake st uh, struck. A number of people ran inside buildings instead of, uh, instead of moving uh, away from uh, buildings because all they know about are, in terms of hazards, are riots and hurricanes. And in, in those two cases, what you should do is, is run inside. So the, the, the wrong, uh, the wrong uh, attitude, the wrong reflex when the uh, earthquake uh, struck. There is a number of steps that have to take place quite urgently uh, in relocating people, uh, finding shelter for people that are, who are still under tents, and, and, uh, and making sure that the rebuilding that's taking place already is, is done properly, is done maybe not to codes, because it will take time to put codes in place, but uh, with earthquake safety uh, in mind. That's the short term. In the uh, medium to long term, uh, there's got to be uh, a, a lot of effort put into uh, capacity building. That's essential. Training uh, Haitian uh, professionals at all levels uh, in, uh, in earthquake science and earthquake engineering. Uh, educating and communicating about earthquakes in Haiti is also very important. A number of people, even uh, highly educated people, did not know that there could be earthquakes in Haiti. They did not know that the country where they lived was prone to earthquakes. Uh, so a lot of work is to be done in terms of education and outreach. Uh, also in terms of science, a basic fundamental uh, scientific data acquisition. We know very little about where the active faults are in Haiti. We know the major ones, the obvious ones, but there's much more that we don't know about, in particular offshore, that is also uh, uh, a threat. So. Um, science, um, training, education and outreach about the earthquake hazard and earthquake safety, uh, and also um, finding a way to convey that information uh, to decision makers in, 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 in a manner that will be effective, that will change things uh, for the better and in, in a sustainable manner for Haiti.